So it's been a minute and holy crap, a lot of stuff happened. Um, just wanted to pop on here and do a quick little update about my life <laughs> and what's happening. So I leave um, in, I leave on the 13th of March and it's the 13th through the 27th uh, for my final uh, zirconia superstructure for my implants. Um, I'm very excited about that. I am going alone, so, uh, you know, it's a little bit scary, but it is what it is. I have to get this done. It's, um, oh, I just have to get it done. So I got these from uh, Aspen Dental, where I was on the West Coast. And um, now I'm going today to do a wax try-in on my permanents um, at Aspen Dental on the East Coast. <laughs> I no longer live on the West Coast. I live on the East Coast now. Um, so it was a huge event uh, directly after the, um, the Cancun trip. Uh, I basically, you know, got these made there packed up my entire life and moved down the road a bit. <laughs> um, and I don't want to get into all that with, with everyone. Uh, it's just, it's just a lot, it's a lot to, to get into. Um, and so I'm going today to get to do my wax try-in for, for those permanents. And what's going to happen, so basically what happened was I know I went into it a little bit before. I went to, um, I came back with nothing in my mouth. I healed completely. I had a stitch taken out. I had multiple uh, dentists tell me how amazing my mouth looked and um, what a great job that um, they did in Playa Carbonate A1 Smile Design with placing the implants. Um, they were all very, very impressed. And anyways, um, I went to Josh. He could not help me at that moment. I could not wait three months or you know what whatever whatever that entailed I still I still don't understand that and honestly I'm over it it doesn't matter um, all I knew is he couldn't help me and I moved on immediately because that's just the way I operate I just keep going until I get to what well, I get what I need and that's when I went to Aspen and because I had incisions in my mouth and surgery and all that with the implants it couldn't be that they couldn't consider it like a replacement denture because they have like replacement dentures and then they have all these other dentures for those who are like getting extractions and so on and so forth. So they placed me into the category of basically, you've had surgery, you can't you can't just you know, replace your denture. So knowing that, and knowing that I had no choice but to get a set of dentures that came with a temporary and permanent, I decided to go with the Comfy Lights. Um, I think that's what they're called. It's either that one or the next one. It was like, I think it was like, I don't know, I can't remember. I think it's Comfy Lights, but anyways. And the reason why I chose those is because they can be later on um, turned into permanent um, implanted dentures or snap-ins. So what I plan on doing is um, going to get my, um, and they're gonna have these made before I leave on the 13th. So that's when I'm going in today, and then next week I should be going in to actually pick them up. Um, I'm going to go and get my superstructure from uh, player Playa De Del Carmen. <laughs> I can't speak. I've been working my ass off lately. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go there to A1 Smell Design, uh, get that created and placed and so on and so forth and fly back home. And then whenever I get home, um, when it's time to take those out for my yearly cleaning, um, because you know you have, to have, you have to have those removed and cleaned properly, you know. Dental care does not end. <laughs> it will continue forever as long as I have these implants and um, this superstructure placed in my mouth. So anyways, I'm gonna wait until I get to that point and when it's time for that to happen and they take those out, um, the zirconia superstructure, they're going to then take the um, permanent dentures that they made, that they're making now, that I will have next week and I'm um, doing the moldings and stuff on those to get the impressions of where each implant is in my mouth to turn those into snappiness. <laughs> and that's because um, 
I had no choice, you know, it, it, it was what it was, it, that's what I paid for, so I might as well do something with it. And like I was telling, um, uh, you know, Aspen Dental is, uh, all I know is in the future, if there is a problem and I'm having an issue um, with my gums or they're inflamed or some sort of infection or something gets up under there and gashes me and, and you know, causes an effect, whatever the scenario may be, I want to be able to get into my dentist, take that superstructure out, have them look at my gums, determine what the hell is going on and changing those abutments so that I can wear my snap-ins, so that I can care for um, my gums properly because not caring for my teeth and my gums and my mouth properly for um, 20 years. Uh, well, I guess I'd probably say more like nine, 18 years. I was with him for 18 years, okay? Basically 18 years, not caring for, for my, my teeth for 18 years and on top of that having um, both sides of my family uh, losing all their teeth before they they hit 40. Um, it was just inevitable and 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 that's what got me into this position to begin with and i don't want that problem to arise in the future and i'm not able to put my health first so and by getting the snap indenture i am able to if and when in the future i'm tired of them they're hurting me uh, i'm having an infection there's a cut on my gums you know whatever the case may be i will be able to take those out properly care for my gums and my mouth while still having teeth with a snap-in. So, today I'm going to Aspen Dental to do my wax try-on. I did do one wax try-on and it was it was comical. It was pretty funny. I have pictures of that and on the next video, because um, I'm gonna take more today of the wax try-on, but um, I'll, I'll put all those pictures together in the next video I do so you can kind of see the timeline and so on and so forth. And the, that will be the, my very last appointment with Aspen is when I'll do that um, video. That way I can just kind of wrap up Aspen and then just totally focus on the A1 smile design because I will be documenting uh, my entire journey. <laughs> Yay! I'm super excited but extremely scared. Um, but excited. I'm ready to get this very last step um, taken care of and I'm excited to see how my life will change as far as like daily living um you know my yeah ah, that's that palate my palate has been covered um the roof of my mouth for four years now and i'm curious to see how um just how things go you know how things taste um i think i also get used to just like you know, take a big bite of whatever, or steaming hot. And now it's probably gonna burn me because our palates, I think, I believe, my body personally, that my palate is more, um, it's a weak ass palate now. <laughs> That's because it hasn't been exposed um, on a daily basis, like a, a regular mouth would, would be exposed to such elements as heat and cold and so on and so forth, uh, spices, and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird but fun to see how um, my daily living changes. And I'm also worried about the whole lisp. I hear that um, a lot of people struggle with a lisp. I can't even say that word, it's a lisp. But anyways, um, I hear that they struggle a lot with that. So I'm really worried about that. Uh, but I do know that I'm just going to do whatever I can to um, rectify that. So that just means lots, lots of practice. Um, that's that's all you can do, you know, practice, 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 but if there's a will, there's a way, and if you want it, it shall be. So, um, I want it, and it shall be. How long will it take me? I have no idea, <laughs> but I'll, I'll get it eventually. Um, and other than that, that's just basically the wrap-up of, of my life. Uh, you know, my son moved to Toronto, to Canada, and I am now uh, closer to him closer to some family that I have um, here on the East Coast and, and New York City as well. So it's, it's just better for me to be here and it was time to move on because of something that recently happened um, that, you know, could possibly put the ones I love in danger. So um, I don't want, again, I don't want to get into all that. 
but um, I just wanted to update you on what's going on. And the reason why I'm in this room is because I've spent a lot of time in this room the last couple of days. I am remodeling. Um, I'm remodeling the home, and as you can tell by the green tape and the walls and that area, uh, that pissed me off so bad. That area back there, oh God, that toilet was leaking and it damaged all of the subfloor and pretty much everything underneath it, including the kitchen ceiling down below. And when I took that toilet out and ripped up the subflooring, it was, I don't know what the hell this person did, but there was, there was no support on the, um, the sewer line. There was no breaker boards. There, there was nothing. And it's like, well, no wonder why the damn toilet leaked, you know? It was, and it was, I mean, pieces of paneling that you would find on like old, old houses or whatever, old trailers, you know, paneling on the wall. They had like stacked inside of there to make it level because you know, you have, um, you know, an, an, an inch and a half of, original flooring and then you have you know your inch and uh, sub flooring and then you know half an inch of plywood he he pieced some things together and I, I still i still have no effing idea what he was doing but anyways this i'm, I'm remodeling this bathroom and it's going to be so pretty um, i'll show you guys afterwards too but i wanted to update you on what's going on that's what's going on with my life i leave on the 13th for a1 small design um, I will be documenting that entire journey, but I go today to Aspen Dental to do my wax try-on, which I will take pictures. I took pictures of the first wax try-on, I'm taking pictures of the second. Next week I should be able to go and pick up my actual teeth, and then when that happens, I will piece all of those pictures together, and of course you'll see um, what I have in my mouth at that time, and I'll do like a little summary of that whole experience. That way I can wrap that up for now and totally focus on A1 Small Design, and my journey, <laughs> yay, I'm so effing scared. Um, I'm not scared of the procedure or what that, what happens there. I've had a lot of crap in my life, so nothing really scares me as far as, as far as that, I, I, I got it, I'm okay. It's just the whole going alone thing is what I'm worried about and, um, you know, getting water and just doing things that I need to do and, well, you know, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm a female, <laughs> and it's it's weird times. So I have met a couple of people online who said that they're going to be there at the same time. So hopefully we can get together and like make these trips together so we can feel a little safer. So, but I will keep you updated. All right, so that's my update. Love you all, and I will see you again next week. And thereafter, you'll you'll be seeing a lot of us. <laughs> bye bye.